All right, welcome to another Speakdom. This is the series I do here on World of Geekdom where I discuss real life topics and things on my mind while also giving advice to people. Uh, I am someone who's lived kind of a funny life and I see a lot of folks who watch my content who are younger than me or may have lost their way and I'm here to kind of like relate to them and tell them, hey, you lost your way, let me bring you back. What I want to talk about today on this Speak Them is I want to talk about the importance of personal responsibility. One of the problems that I have seen in the past few years in the world, really on the internet because I happen to work here, is this, um, this notion or this idea that it's always someone else's fault. It's the politician's fault. It's the economy's fault. It was this, it was that. It's my mom's fault. It's my dad's fault. I'm in my personal journey to make myself a better person. One of the big lessons I learned, and I talked about this already on here, was the importance of cutting certain people out of your life that don't serve you. People who don't make you better, who root you on, who are inspirational to you, people who are either on your level or above your level and want to raise you to their level. That's what you need to have in your orbit. It's okay to have maybe a toxic acquaintance or two, but over time it's going to get degrading. It's going to get annoying. And you eventually have to snap out of it. You have to snap out of it. I'm kind of tired of seeing people whining over shit that doesn't matter and then blaming Every everybody else. It's everyone's fault but my own. And that's bullshit. The fact is that if you live in a first world country, I don't care what you feel or how you feel about the politicians. We're not talking about that. If you live in a first world country, that means that you happen to have opportunities that other people don't have in countries that are, you know, stricter or smaller or less you know, more impoverished. If you live in a first world country, you already have an advantage. You've already got an advantage. If you live in a civilized country or even a big city or even a small town that's not far from a big city, you've already got an advantage. And what I have to talk about this really is this sort of annoying idea that people can never take any personal responsibility When a couple breaks up, they blame each other. Or one of them blames themselves and goes into a deep, deep, deep depression and then later finds out the truth that was always there the whole time and that is it's both parties' responsibility to keep a relationship going. That's one example right there. If bad things happen to you, I understand that life is not fair and I understand that There's things that happen to you that suck. You know, tripping and like breaking a bone, that sucks. Breaking your arm, being dumped, getting into an accident. All these negative things, all these things suck. They all suck. But life is going to throw you an obstacle. And the obstacle might beat you into the ground. But like I said, there's the winning mentality and the losing mentality. The losing mentality, pessimism, is you break your arm and you're complaining about it taking, I don't know, six weeks to heal. I've never broken my arm, so I don't know how long it takes to heal. So I'm sorry if I got that wrong. I thought it was six weeks. The loser is going to say, oh, woe is me, I broke my arm. Now... You deserve to be upset and angry if you break your arm, especially if it's someone else's fault because that is, you know, uh, it's uh, injustice. I'm on your side on this one. But the winning mentality is, well, okay, once you settle down from the anger initial shock and you calm down and meditate, okay, well, I'm going to make the best of it. I'm going to make the best of this. And I know that no matter what, in six weeks... I'll be done with it. You know, so it's the best, healthiest way to live your life is just to keep pushing forward. But if you're just going to sit back and complain all the time, what are you accomplishing? If you're sitting back and blaming your parents for why you behave the way you do, 
Why don't you go work that out through therapy? Or maybe you already have, but you still blame them. Okay, even if you acknowledge that your parents messed up in raising you and made mistakes, you have to also understand that a lot of times parents that make mistakes had parents that made mistakes, right? It's a, it's a generational thing. They might not know what they're doing. So it happens, man. Sometimes we're given a bad hand. I didn't grow up rich. I grew up poor. I grew up, in a poor household. We had toys. I had my Nintendo. But we didn't really have luxury. You know. We were probably like lower middle class. Or lower class. I, I, you know. Most of my life. And I didn't really go to middle class. Until I started working. Until I started working. And. Really. You know. Getting my education going. And then from there. Working my way up to where I am now. It took. A few years y'all. <laughs> Nobody just gets there. It takes time. It, and that's what you have to always remember is that it takes time. And so I think people need to start having personal responsibilities now. Chances are that you're in a shitty situation because of bad choices that you've made. And whether or not you were aware of the bad choice at the time and whether or not you were influenced, you still made a bad choice. Bad choices and bad decisions lead to bad outcomes. If you're an alcoholic and you put yourself near the bar... And then you end up in jail that night. That's your fault. Don't even remember what the hell happened. You're just in jail. What happened? That's your fault. That is your fault. If you are given chance after chance after chance to get a promotion at work. And you just don't have that mindset. And you don't even want to challenge yourself to get there. That's your fault. If you are overweight. And this is something I can tell you a lot about. And you have been overweight for a long time. And you develop problems, illnesses, whatever. That's your fault. Is it all your fault? Probably not. Because life has a funny way of bobbing and weaving and, and, and you know, of us navigating through it. I'm not saying it's all your fault. But there are certain things in life where you have to take personal responsibility. And what a real self-actualized person does, or at least tries to do, is... They internalize it. The first thing that they do is they think, okay, what, what, what could I have done differently? When you move past that, then you can get into acceptance. But you have to go through that phase of what have I done? Quit, what, 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 how is this my, like, what did I do wrong? How could I have made this better? And unless you're a complete, like, you know, somebody who has like, Social sociopathic or who has like borderline personality disorder or some kind of like real like mental illness, like a real, you know, personality disorder or whatever. If, if that's your situation or whatever, like it's unfortunate you can overcome it. But it, unless you are one of those people, you're going to ha- you need to have some self-awareness because and that comes from maturity, because if not, you're going to end up being a, ki- a big kid when you're older. You understand? You're not going to mature. You have to mature and learn things. And part of that is introspection. What could I have done differently? You don't want to feel the emotion of guilt, but it's always best to have responsibility. I'm going to say that again. You don't have to always feel guilt over something and blame yourself, but it's always best to think about what you would do if that happened again. That's how you learn. That video games do it. You play a video game, you die against a boss, but every time you fight the boss, you get closer and closer to beating him until you finally beat him because you figured out the pattern and strategy. That's how life is. That is literally, video games are a metaphor of life in many ways because you do level up. You do move up to more challenging things. You think your life is easy now being in college? Can you imagine how much harder it's going to be when you have to raise kids, yo? Some of y'all are just getting out of high school. You have, you don't even know. You don't know anything about life. No offense, but you know nothing about life. You just got out of high school. You have to experience more. And when and 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 you know I'm right. And I and even if you're in the comment section saying I'm not, I will put money on it that unless you're mentally ill with those disorders I mentioned earlier at some point in your life you're going to agree you're going to say you know what I didn't know shit when I was 18 because I'm saying that about myself I didn't know shit when I was 30 dude when I turned 30 I thought I knew life and even then I didn't really know 
You know what I mean? That's when you discover what life really is in your 30s and early 40s. I'm not in my 40s yet, but I am in my 30s. Like 20s is when you kind of explore, 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 but every age is like a level up, like a new level in your life, right? Same thing. You have to eventually level up. If you're in a dead-end job, figure out ways to get out of that dead-end job. Don't wait for the government or for your parents to bail you out. Start thinking of ways to get out. Think of what you want to do with your life and start making steps towards it. Because if you don't, that is your fault. There's a Dave Ramsey rant on uh, YouTube. You can look it up where he screams, it's your fault, at like the loudest voice because he says that living in, a, in this country, in the United States or Canada, if you don't retire a millionaire, it's your fault. Now, I'm not going to go into that right now because that's a whole other video, but his method of attaining wealth makes a lot of sense to a lot of people and has worked legitimately. It is a real thing. I have two of his books. I apply a lot of his teachings, but... In some cases, it's not someone's fault. I disagree with him on that. There are some rare cases, but I would say in most cases, people spend their money on stuff they shouldn't spend their money on. Or they try to make themselves feel better by buying things that they don't need. And I don't just mean jewelry and nice clothes. I mean like things that help them cope with things. And I get it. Again, I'm talking to you guys as one of you because I I have been there and I might be there again. Unfortunately, human beings are flawed in that we make the same mistakes multiple times. But I'm at the point now where not only will I not be making those mistakes again as much as before, if not ever, whatever mistakes I made, I also am now self-aware enough that I have this te- tendency to make mistakes to where what I'm about to make it My logical brain steps in and says, nope, nope, nope. That's how I am on Twitter now. I'm tempted every day to make jokes and to, you know, to fuck with people. But the outcome usually ends up being something I don't want to deal with. That I think just pisses me off about the world. So I'm like, you know what? It's not worth it. It's not worth it, man. For me, I only like to express my creativity on places like YouTube where A, I can speak to you and you have better context or you can look at me on camera when I am on camera or B, and B, I can make a living out of it. I'm very happy that these videos, they might not get the same views as Geek Them 101, but I am getting paid on them, but I'm also helping people. You know, and that's the best way to go about things. You go through life to acquire your wealth and then eventually you end up using that wealth to help others. That's the Dave Ramsey way. But you can't get to that wealth without discipline. And that's your fault. It is your responsibility to have discipline. If you're overweight, it's your responsibility to lose the weight. If you are sick, it's your responsibility to take the right medicine. You understand what I'm saying? And if you've been working a dead-end job, it's your responsibility to get out. Nobody else's but yours, man. People, kids like fail class and they blame the teacher. Listen, there's a lot of bad teachers, dude. I know. I could tell you stories and I have told them. And there are cases of that, but a lot of times it's not even the teacher's fault. Just that the kid didn't apply himself. Now, again, the teacher might not, it might, the teacher might not have been a good inspirational teacher. And that oftentimes happens in middle school, high school, and college. And that does lead to lower grades. So, again, It's not all their fault for not passing, but you have to take some responsibility. And I think the more you take responsibility for the way your life is, the more you not only grow as a person, but you also become a better person and can then help others. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one.